Now, while Apple has removed the physical home button on the iPhone 10, there is a way to add a virtual button on there to give you some of the same functionality that you may have missed with that physical home button. It's pretty easy to set up. I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to, into the settings icon. Once you go into there, you wanna scroll down to where it says general. And then from general, you wanna go to where it says accessibility. And if you scroll down the accessibility list here, you'll see something that says assistive touch and you're gonna to wanna to turn that on. Now, when you turn that on, you'll see that the little circle icon there, your virtual button will sort of pop up there, and that's gonna say anonymous on the screen no matter what app, what app or where you are and wherever, you, wherever you're going and you're navigating around. What's pretty cool is you can actually change the opacity of that as well too, so you can make it be up to 100% if you want to, to be seen all the time, all the way down to 15% and it pretty much gives you the most opacity possible and it keeps it clear where you can see it just a little bit. And that's probably where most people are gonna prefer using this. Now you can also set up custom actions as well too, between single tap, double tap, long press, and 3D touch, you can have them all do several different things and all different options and accordingly because this is pretty cool what a lot of this stuff can do inside of here. So let's go ahead and head back home and let's actually just use the virtual button here itself. Now you can put this button anywhere you want to on the screen. We can kind of put it here in the center as you can see there, kind of mimic where your home button normally would be. If we open up an application and you'll see that it sort of goes into uh, opacity there and if we tap on it and then tap on it again, we have a set to go home and then it'll instantly go home just like that. Now we can do a few other things with it as well too. If we long press down, we'll get the navigation sort of quick access icons here from you know control center device if we tap on device it gives us some more option as well too just quicker ways to access different functions inside the smartphone inside your iphone 10 which is pretty cool so that's pretty much how the virtual button works it's a highly customizable button that has a lot of great features with it that i definitely recommend you checking out if you do miss the home button on your iphone questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below. Be sure to watch all our iPhone coverage in the playlist that you'll see here at the end of the video. Thanks for watching and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.